Jude said, contend earnestly yeah, yeah. for the faith. The Greek word contend, agonizomai, the same word from which we got the English agony. It's as if he's saying, put up an agonizing fight or fight to the point of agony for what you believe. Fight to that point. This is the truth. This is the will of God. This is the unadulterated word of God. This, you, you cannot find anything that is more accurate than what we have in these pages of Scripture. Yes. The Bible reflects the mind and will of God. It's the infallible, cannot fail. It is the inerrant. There are no errors here. Holy men of God were directed. They were moved and controlled by the Spirit of God. This is free of error. It is God's divine, God-breathed truth. And he said, stand. Because at the end of it, everything that you and I believe, the day will come. I'm telling you, I believe it all. The day will come when every single thing that you and I believe, we would, we would see that it was absolutely true. That day would come. The day would come when you and I would stand before God. And I believe it will come back to our consciousness. The days when we were in church lifting our hands, praising God. When that person invited us to give our lives to Jesus, and we did, I believe our consciousness are going to capture that time. When we were there laboring for God and nobody knew. We were not looking for, for, for any congratulations or any kind of earthly reward. We were not looking for it. We just love God. We believe this truth. And we are now standing before God. And every single thing that we ever believed and we ever held dear. We see the reality and the truth of it right before our eyes. Oh God, what, what, what a day that would be. So Jesus, the, the, the Lord said, blessed are those who have not seen, but they have yet believed. Ah, oh, glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. Our labor is not in vain in the Lord. It's not in vain. There's a God that is taking record of everything that we do. He's recording everything. Everything. There is a documentation of what we do. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And we will never be robbed of our reward. Never. Almighty God, yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Almighty God, yes. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, God. Hallelujah. 
But um, it's interesting. They made a stand in the face of death. Yes. There was no doubt about it, what, what the consequences of their actions would be. And they will, you know, if you look at the language of these guys, King, we, we, we're not even selecting our words. We're not careful to answer you. But when you go to the background of the, their situation, one, remember they were slaves in Babylon. Yes. Then their country was destroyed. They were the first slaves. Their country was literally destroyed. The temple was destroyed. Many were killed. Houses were burned down. The temple that housed the presence of God. An enemy, heathen, ungodly nation came in and destroyed the temple that housed the presence of God. How devastating is that to the faith of God's people? Have you, we have read Psalm 137. I hope I... I'm pretty sure it is by the rivers of Babylon. Oh, mm. Where we sat down. Where we sat down. Somebody made a song of that and they, yeah. they don't understand what oh, that means. Oh, yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> when we remember us. The, 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 those are the captives. Those are the discouraged captives. They are at the rivers of Babylon and they are being taunted mm -hmm. shall we sing by the Babylonians. The Babylonians are telling them, sing us one of the Lord's songs. Yeah. Yeah. They know that the other nations knew that they had songs of victory. Mm -hmm. The other nations knew that they had songs of triumph. That, those were the songs of the people of God. Because every nation that they went after, they conquered them. God gave them victory. And they had all these great songs. And those other nations that were ahead of them, the Bible tells us they were fearful. They heard of them and they were fearful. So they knew they had this, these great songs of triumph. And these discouraged Jews sit at the rivers of Babylon and they're remembering Zion. They're remembering their home. They're remembering the temple being destroyed. They thought that could never happen. Our oh, God is reign superior among all the other gods. But no, they are homeless. They're in another man's nation. Th their homes have been destroyed. And now they are being taunted by the enemy to sing God's song of triumph. Their response was, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Showing you the difference between some folk who came from the same belief system, how they respond to adversity. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, on the other hand, they stood up 
We don't understand what's going on here. But this one thing that we do know. <laughs> our God yeah, yeah. cannot be destroyed. Yes, right. You know, there's a belief system back in those days that whenever two nations go into battle, they believed there was a parallel warfare between the gods of the nations. Yes. So every nation took a god with them whenever they were going to fight. So when Israel lost, when Judah lost to Babylon, and the temple destroyed, many believe that the god of the Jews was also destroyed. He was also defeated by the god of the Babylonians. So, with that prevailing belief existing, that is the, 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 the orbit within which Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are called upon to function now. And they would look at the situation and say, listen, we know for a fact and for certain that our God, he in, he in defeated and he in destroyed. And we are not even careful to answer you on this issue we know he will deliver us. And even if he doesn't, we're still not going to bow. That's a resolve. That's a resolve knowing that everything, could you imagine everything that you believe to, that cannot happen starts happening in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. and, and it's confused and everything has gone wrong. That shouldn't go wrong. And you feel so confused and you don't know. But within you have this resolve. You have a resolve inside of you that probably he'll explain it to me down the road. But as far as I know, there is one God and he's the only one that I'm going to bow to. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let me, end, let me end my session with, with some great words from Habakkuk. Great Great words. These are these are these are, uh, are my favorite words in scripture. Let's go to the to the last chapter. That's somewhere in the Old Testament. <laughs> yeah. My you know, you know, you know, you know how I used to find books in the in the Bible. I used to cut my Bible in half, and it will it will it will hit uh it will hit Psalms. Mm -hmm. And then I, I would know either to go back or to go forward. <laughs> and that was my, that was my strategy. What's, what's yours? <laughs> you don't have a strategy? Just oh, learn them. Memorize them. Oh, you, you memorize them? That's what Correct. Memorize them. Yeah. And um, <laughs> some, people, some people just take the shortcut and just go straight to the, uh, to the index. <laughs> now use, look, I'll, I'll I go, I'll just go straight to the index. <laughs> Why am I not? Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people just go straight to the index. Yeah, it is. If, if you have ever read this book, the prophet was just totally confused of what was going on. Just confused. And God came and spoke to him and told him what he was going to do. And what is great about this is that out of this book came that scripture, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by That came from, from his experience. And what basically he's saying, listen, if there are things that you may not understand, you may be, be under heavy attack, but God is still calling upon you to be strong. Yes, Have a, a resolve, a, a strong resolve to stand up and do the right thing. You, you may not understand it, but do it. <laughs> do it. So God told him what he was going to do. And the prophet couldn't handle it. But then God shared with him some, some things and cleared some things up for the prophet. And the prophet said these words, and, and to me, they are some of the greatest words penned on the pages of Scripture. I'm looking at verse 17 of the final chapter, chapter 3. Mm -hmm. These are some fine words. They said, all the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no meat mm -hmm. the flock shall be cut off from the fold mm -hmm. and there shall be no 
heard in the stalls. Yeah. Yet yeah. I will rejoice mm -hmm. in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. He will make me to walk upon my high places. Hallelujah. And he sent it out to the chief singer of the string instruments. Praise God. In other words, if everything around me is going wrong, every single thing, yet I will joy in God because God knows what he is doing. God knows what he is doing. I may not comprehend it. I may not understand it. But God knows what he's doing. And whatever God does, he does it well. Final thought. Preachers have about ten final thoughts. So you all better <laughs> keep that in mind. When Esther, Mordecai, they were also captives from the exile. They were also captives around the same time with Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Daniel. They were all contemporaries. They all lived around the same times. So they were taken to Babylon at different points. But they were all contemporaries because there were three main attacks on Jerusalem. Daniel was, was taken in the first attack. Mordecai and Esther, they were in the second attack under King Jehoiachin. And they were taken there. Now, there are some things that you, we cannot comprehend. But look at this. Look what God did. And his providential hand. Esther was being taken care of by, by, by Mordecai. She was beautiful. God was able to use her beauty to get her in a place that will eventually preserve the, 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 the entire nation of Israel. Yes, sir. That's what, that's, that, was a, that was the ultimate plan of God. Now, most people can see that. They are now exiles in, under the Persian Empire. How could anybody, how could anybody ex expect that kind of stuff going on? But God, God sees everything. God has a panoramic view of everything. He sees the end from the beginning. And God knows what he's doing. So, so many people, yes, the, the exile was judgment on Jerusalem for the sins of Manasseh and all those things. But God also had a plan. God was also doing things. And, and, and if God at times may not be overtly seen, it doesn't mean that he's uninvolved. It doesn't mean that he's a spectator. God is always involved in the affairs of men. Amen. So look what God did. God caused Vashti to be disobedient to her husband. Yes, That's the first thing. And he wasn't going to do anything. So God stirred up some guy and said, listen, the queen can't do that to you. She's embarrassing you. <laughs> so he decided to get rid of her and get another wife. It was okay back then. <laughs> so, so they decided to get these women. Esther was beautiful. So she was selected. So God used her beauty. The guy who was handling her, he was close to the king and he knew everything that the king liked. So he took care of her and, and, and he had her well prepared. Mm -hmm. That was the hand of God. Mordecai had witnessed a plot to, to assassinate the king. Mm -hmm. He sold it out and the, the plot was, was messed up. They, 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 they crushed it and the king's life was spared. Mm -hmm. But he was not rewarded for it at that time. I'm showing you the, the, the hand of God. When you think that God ain't there and God ain't doing anything, I, I'm showing you the hand of God. I think God has everything all planned and plotted in. And, and God knows. So, there is, a, there is a need now for a replacement for Vashti. Esther is there. She's selected. So she's right in place. A man decides that he's going to wipe out, he wants the entire nation. Not, he, wants, he wants them annihilated. Not just those there, but even future sea. He wanted the entire nation annihilated. That, that's what he was aiming at. That's what he was going after. God decided to trouble the heart of the king. Yeah. <laughs> 
and he started to, he called for all the historical documents yes. of the of the of the of the of the nation and he started to read where that thing that plotter have him assassinated mm -hmm. he read it and he was like was this guy ever rewarded for this sometimes you you have been your blessing have been delayed oh boy and we complain and we wonder, God, oh, you're not hearing me? God knows when to bring it. So God delayed it. And the right time came when God decided he's going to give Mordecai the reward. God was involved every step and every stage. That's the providential hand of God. And when you do not understand what is going on, <coughs> you, we just have to trust Him. And that's the word of Habakkuk, that we trust God in the face of confusing things that are coming against us. We trust Him. So we seek the providential hand of God, that the man who plotted the annihilation of the, the nation of Israel, he himself died on what he constructed the gallows. He himself died. <laughs> And the people of God spared and saved. But there was something that Mordecai said to Esther that has become a cliche statement in Christianity. Where you often hear people say, I am here for such a time as this. Mordecai was, more, was saying something more than a cliche statement. He was telling her, you have a providential assignment. And once there is a providential assignment upon your life, nothing can stop you. Nothing can defeat you because God is going to provide you with all the resources that are necessary to accomplish the task. And when she got that into her spirit, she knew when she go before the king, he had to, to allow her to come and not have her executed. She knew it. She understood what, what he was saying. Once there is a providential assignment upon you, you cannot be stopped. God is going to, God is going to provide you with all the resources that are necessary. And as we, as we consider all the things that we learned this morning from, from the book of 2 Timothy, there is a providential assignment upon us in this time, this final time. God could have selected all kinds of people to be in our time, but he didn't. There's no Moses in our time. There's no Joshua. There, there is no, there, there is no Mo, uh, um, Abraham. God selected us to be here at this time. Therefore, there's a providential assignment upon our lives and there is something that we have to accomplish by the grace of God and we will we will as long as we preserve that passion for, for the for the for the for, for God and for what we believe we 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 pursue hard after biblical truth and correctness of doctrine and we have that powerful resolve that we will not be shaken and we will not be moved I believe that we will accomplish what God has called us to do in this time. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, mighty God. Lord, as we, as we look at Christianity in the t this time in which we live, God, we see so much to be desired. We see so much, God. Father God, throughout history, you have always had a remnant. Throughout history, you have always had a people. And we are asking God that we be that people. We may be few in number at this time, but God, we are asking you, God, to make us, God, that remnant. Because once we are with you, we are never in the minority. We are always in the majority when you stand with us according to your word. They that are for us are more than they that are against us. Hallelujah.
Blessed be your name, Father God. So, Lord, we are asking you, God, that the word of God would remain in our hearts and in our spirits, God. Lord, reconfigure our minds, reconfigure our thinking. Lord God, let, let us just overhaul the way we do things and, and intensify everything. Let there be a difference going forward, a complete difference. Let there be more enthusiasm, excitement, and passion for the things of God. Passionate about prayer. Hallelujah. Passionate about worship. Hallelujah. Passionate about the word of God. Coming and fellowshipping with the saints of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us always be excited. As David said, I was glad when they said let us go into the house of the Lord. Let us be glad. Consistently. Hallelujah. Father God and strengthen us as Paul prayed with power and with might in our inner man. In our inner being God strengthen us to face God the evils of this world. Everywhere we turn God there is temptation. Everywhere we turn God Lord God everywhere we turn the radio, television, yes. internet, social media, everywhere we turn. Oh, yes, God. Billboards. God, everywhere we turn. Yes, it is Jesus. constantly yes, around yes, us. Yes, oh, glory to God. But Lord, we, we heard you commending a church in the book of Revelation. Yes, God. You commended them because where Satan had made his seat. They were able to stand strong where Satan had erected his headquarters. They lived a godly life. Lord God, we are praying, Lord God, in Jesus' name. That in the midst of all this mess that we see, God. Lord God, we will shine us. We will shine, oh God. Hallelujah, we will be shining lights Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Yes, mighty God. Holding to purity of belief. Untainted by the influences of this world, oh God. Hallelujah, that we will please you, God. Let us not compromise with sin, but let us see sin the way you see it, God. Let, it, let us see sin as it were through the eyes of God. Let us have the disposition of God to what sin and unrighteousness, that we would hate sin and that we would love righteousness. Oh, Rabako Rabaseko Randalaba Shikuri to love righteousness and hate iniquity. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us not bow. Let us not bow. We got some examples of the past who did not bow. That we will not bow, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. For God, you said we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. We got the examples of those that went before. 
Mighty God, we they were not today. afraid of the fiery furnace. Mighty they God. were not afraid, oh God, of the lion's mighty, den. Mighty, mighty they were God. not afraid of the sword. Jesus, they were not afraid, Jesus. God, but they stood for what they believed. Mighty God. Even so oh God, oh God, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. Even so oh Rabbi Sikorian, so they were not afraid. And Lord God, we are called Jesus upon of in this, this day, this day, hallelujah, to be strong and to be unmovable. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be strong. Be strong, be unmovable. Hallelujah, Jesus. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't become wary of well doing. Don't become wary of well doing. Saints of God. Don't become wary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Don't God. become wary. For in due season yes, and in due time, to, 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 to. Hallelujah, you hallelujah, will receive mighty your reward. Mighty, mighty, hallelujah, mighty, mighty, do mighty, not God. faint. Bless you forever, Jesus. Hallelujah, to, say to, 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 to. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, mighty, mighty, mighty God. has always been good as promised. Hallelujah, Jesus. And not one of his mighty promises God, yes. will ever fail. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hey, not, one. Oh, yeah, not, not one. Not one, not one. In the oh, to, 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 to. Hallelujah. Never did in the past. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Will never happen yes, Jesus. today. Amen. Nor in the yes, future. <coughs> Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Let there be an impartation in our spirit. Impart into our spirit. Impart into our spirit, so God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, my Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Let there be a deposit into our hearts. A deposit into our spirits, Jesus. Yes, God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah, mighty God. Oh, Jesus, we bless your name. Oh, Rabashi, mighty, mighty God. We bless your name, Jesus. Rabashi, Koryanda. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. An impartation that our lives will never be the same again. Jesus of Nazareth. An impartation that our lives will never be the same again. Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth. We will pray like we have never prayed before. Jesus of Nazareth. We will fast like we have never fasted before. Jesus of Nazareth. Oh God, we will study your word like we have never done before, God. Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Jesus of Nazareth. We will increase that we will intensify. Oh, glory to God. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yeah, I am that I am this moment. 